The Tupolev PAKDA or PAKDA Russian is a next-generation stealth strategic bomber being developed by Tupolev for the long-range aviation branch of the Russian Aerospace Forces. The PAKDA is set to complement and eventually replace the older Tupolev 295 in Russia's Air Force service. Russia appears to have made some progress in the development of the new Tupolev PAKDA stealth bomber. The company has apparently assembled a full-size mock-up of the new bomber, as well as several smaller subscale models made from various composite materials. Additionally, Tupolev has also built a full-size mock-up of the PAKDA's cockpit. The PAKDA will focus on stealth, substantially reducing both its radar cross-section and its inferred signature. The new bomber will be configured to carry its armament within internal weapons bays, and the aircraft will feature next-generation electronic warfare systems. The PAKDA will have a range of 9,300 miles, while the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber has a combat range of 6,600 nautical miles. Russia has fewer aerial refueling tankers to support long-range missions, which necessitates the range to return to Russia without refueling where the bombers could be rearmed and refueled for their next mission. American bombers can expect greater tanker support over the course of a long-range mission, allowing designers to prioritize payload over fuel. The PAKDA is intended to serve as a long-range, low-observable strategic bomber for the Russian Air Force. The PAKDA varies significantly from source to source, while more recent ones claim an even more impressive 40 tons, 80,000 pounds. The PAKDA will be capable of carrying a wide variety of conventional and nuclear ordnance. It's also expected to network with airborne drones in some way. The PAKDA strategic bombers are tasked with flying deep into enemy territory, where their targets are strategic in nature. The PAKDA is to be equipped with the latest radio electronic warfare equipment of domestic manufacture. Russian PAKDA would also be able to carry long range hypersonic cruise missiles. As such, the new aircraft would be optimized to have the longest possible reach. The PAKDA would fly as long as possible and unobtrusively in the air, so that without going into the affected area, so that they can launch their weapons onto their targets. The PAKDA is expected to be subsonic aircraft, as its flying wing configuration suggests. The bomber will use an improved non-augmented variant of the Tupolev Tu-160's Kuznets of NK-32 power plant. The bomber can also collaboratively operate with drones, and it does not feature a tail surface for stability and maneuvering, which minimizes the aircraft's radar signature. The bomber's stability and maneuverability are achieved by the flight computer using electrically activated wing-mounted aerodynamic services, such as flaps, 